Uh, hi, welcome to another installment of Oko Yugi Tutor. Uh, today I want to show you guys how to um, restore the system BDF file. So let's say that um, you accidentally drop your um, some of your, some of your um, database file. This is a different database file that I have on my, uh, on my current installation. So let's say that you, you actually you accidentally drop all of these data database file, files. Basically, uh, if you wanted to, um, you be you 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 be you be screwed up if you if you did not have a um, first of all a backup copy of it, but also if you didn't have the um, the database in archive log mode. So what I'm gonna do is for, um, for this scenario, I'm actually gonna delete my um, I'm gonna delete my system. Um, DBF file and um, I'll restore it. The reason why I'm doing this is basically if I was to delete all of these uh, DBF files, um, I would be able to um, basically the, the only file that would be recognized is, is the DBF the, the data file one, which is the system DBF file, and that's the message. That's the um, that message that Oco will be um, will be um, displaying. So I'm just gonna um, get one one step ahead of Oco on this one. And I'm going to start my command pump. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to see the directory. Okay, I already have my uh, I already have a number of SQL plus um, connection um, started. I also have an R oh man. Here at the bottom, I executed the backup database with archive log um, command and also executed backup command, a current control file command. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, um, I'm going to shut down the database. I should not shut down any gate command. So um, one word of advice is always make sure that you do not you do not um, drop your control file. I've I've made that mistake so many times, and um, once you do that, you're screwed. You can't um, you can't get that you can't get your database to be mounted, and you can get you can't definitely can't get your database to be open. So you don't want to get uh, messed with your control file. Actually, what you want to do is you want to multiplex it. You want to um. So see, currently I only have it in my C drive. So, but ideally you want to have it in, let's say, in multiple drives. You know, D drive or whatever the number, of, whatever number of drives that you have. So that um, you know, if anything goes wrong with your control file, then you can just um basically you know that on that um extra control file that you have in a, in a different directory. So the Oracle instantly shut down, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm already, um, I'm already CD into the, um, the, this directory. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to de delete <coughs> system that DBF. So system, the system DBF file is gone. So what I'm going to do next is, <coughs> I am going to <coughs> I'm going to uh, go into my uh, SQL plus and I'm going to issue the command startup again the reason why I'm doing only the, the, the uh, system BDF file is because uh, that's the one file that um, that pretty much once you get rid of it, you're done. Um, you have to, you have to have that, that data file. So it ends. Oh, it's always going to be referred to as data file one. And um, so the way that Oka works is it has it assigns num uh, the most of numbers to uh, each data file. So system system data file is data file one. C solid is data file two, and and so on. Um, 
<coughs> so should you pay attention to my SQL plus? Yeah, this mountain. What's the problem? You see that my data file one um, can't. It's not. It, it's trying to find a system DBF file, but it cannot because I, of course, I deleted. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to. <coughs> I already have my Allman open, so I'm going to exit Allman, and then I'm going to reconnect it in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to my target, which is the the uh, this database. I'm going to do issue a run block. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, restore. Data file one, <coughs> and I'm only restoring data file one because that's the only file that I, that um I I um I deleted. I want to recover data file one, and I'm gonna also uh, this is very important. I'm gonna issue a SQL statement. Um, and also so if. Uh, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm writing SQL before before uh, before actually that I write the command is when you when you're issuing a uh, arm and run block you have to have a SQL and then a parentheses and and then the, the single quote for the for the uh, for the, uh, the query that you're gonna that you're gonna run. But if you if you, if there was no run block then you just issue the the, the command that I'm going that I'm gonna write now. So I'm gonna issue the command alter data base open now I'm gonna use the semi-con in the end go to the next bit go to the next uh, line and then close it out so if you pay attention so I have restore recovering and I open the database I did that all in one um, in one uh, one block So it's all done. <coughs> As you can see, I've just uh, the very last thing that was wrong was the outside database open command, which means my which means that my database should be open. <coughs> so just to make sure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm actually going to connect my sys DBF, and then I'm going to um, select status. There you, there you go, the database is open. So pretty much this is how you recover a system database file. Um, and basically if you were to, um, once again, if you were to get rid of all your uh, DBF files, um, the file that you received, the one for the, the data, data file one, and once you restore that, um, then you can go and buzz all the other files back. And so, uh, just a, just a couple more things to mention. Um, never ever uh, delete your control files. Um, once you do that, you have to uh, basically just reinstall your entire software again. And then second thing is um, second thing is um, basically always make sure you have a um, you have your database in archive log mode. Um, and the way to do that is to issue a uh, is to have your database in my mode. And then issue the author on database archive log. And once you do that, make sure the backup your database plus the archive log. And then also do back up your control file, your current control file. Uh, that's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time.